Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing. Today I want to bring you something a little bit different from the Stamping Up catalog called the Pigment Sprinkles. I decided to try them in different places or I should say I started with some cardboard and I went to watercolor paper. I also tried some of the resist paper. I have six different ones that I want to show you and I think you're going to love the results. So stay tuned. At the end, I will bring a word about not quitting. So wait till the end. One of the first thing that I ordered from the new catalog from Stamping Up in June 2019 was the pigment sprinkles. I was really excited to use them. They are watercolor crystals that you can use on different mediums and most people use them on watercolor paper, but I decided to try it in different ways. And I want to show you how to make beautiful backgrounds with it with what you have at hand. So hopefully some of the six ideas will inspire you and give you some courage to try the pigment sprinkles. Okay, let's start. When I received my pigment sprinkles, they came in this six colors. First one was a Bermuda Bay, Melon Mambo, Gorgeous Grape, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, and Mango Melody, one of my favorite colors for sure. I decided to try it in different ways. Some of them, I sometimes I mix them, sometimes I don't. But this is what we will do first. I'll move them to the side for a second and I want to show you something. You will need definitely a placemat or something that you can mess up. This is really clean right now, but this is actually a recyclable one. It's one that I already used before and I'm just going to be using this. And if you notice, I folded it so I have four layers in here and I'm not making such a big mess. So make sure that you have an area that you can just have fun and make a mess. Then I decided that I wanted to use watercolor paper, but I didn't have as much watercolor paper, but I had a lot of this kind of paper. And these are the cardboards where the Stamping Up Designer papers come with. They come with this um, nice cardboard. You see that it's a 12 by 12. I have the Sea Silhouette Designer Shoes paper here and I have the D Dinosaur. Dino Roar is the name of it. Okay, so what I did is that I cut it at three and three quarters by five. That's what I did. Three and three quarters by five. And I cut a bunch of them and I thought, you know what? Let me check if this works. Now, let me tell you something about this particular cardboard. This one in both sides is glossy. So even if you're on this side that has the name of the paper or on this one is glossy. There is other ones that come that are not glossy. This one is glossy on one side, but the other side is a little bit um, mate is how they call it. It's more like card, card stock. So we are going to try them both and later on we'll try other 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 things too okay so let's start with this and if you have a bunch of it you're you're in for a treat because I loved practicing with this cardboard. To start, I brought my watercolor pens because I will need them for all of the samples I will make. I also will start mixing the Gorgeous Grape and the Bermuda Bay, and you'll see how I do that. I will suggest you have a towel of some sort. You can also use paper towels, but I'll tell you the honest truth. I will show you many samples very soon, and in all of them, I use this very dirty rag. As you see, I've been creating bunches, and this is just like a dish towel, okay, that I brought from my cleaning supplies and it's stayed now in this room with me and with the pigment sprinkles so let's start stamping first thing i will do is i will be putting some water on this so i will just use this to get some of that water out and i will use my aqua painter that's how it's called not my watercolor pen but my aqua painter and i will just add some water to this and as you see, it seems like I've been using it a lot because it has the, the aqua painter has some color in it right now, but I don't really care. So there, that is pretty full of water, as you see. I'm going to take this and I'm going to open it and I want you to see how cool this is. You open it and it already comes with three little holes and you can start just sprinkling your color as you wish. And look how cool it moves around. Absolutely gorgeous, I think it is. I'll put a little bit more. Now, every single one of your creations will be a little bit different. Be, be aware of that. Nothing will look entirely the same. Now, I want to put a little bit more, more, more of this in here and I will move it around and it looks very, very dark, but it's okay. It's gonna look real cool. <laughs> 
I will now bring a little bit of the Bermuda Bay. And again, you can mix colors as you wish. And look how different that starts looking right there. Yeah, I know it doesn't look blue at all, but when it, it connects with the water and everything, it looks really cool. So now I have this here. I want to just add a teeny bit more water, move some of my, this is warping a bit, but it doesn't really matter to me because very soon it will be very different. And I will bring my towel and I will actually just go on top of it, okay? So I'll do this and this will absorb the majority of the water that is still there and I'm flattening that cardboard because it warped a bit. It is actually not meant for this, but I think it's the cheapest way to start practicing with the pigment sprinkles and I love the results. Look how beautiful this looks. <laughs> it looks amazing. I think it's great. For this sample, I cut again a three and three quarters by five inches. This is a piece of the same cardboard that comes with the designer's paper, but one side is glossy and the other side is more, um, not rough, but just like card cardstock. Okay, so I'm going to be using this side now. Now, the first time I use my aqua painter to add some water to it, that is a way that you can do it. This time I wanna do it a little bit different. So I will bring my towel and I'm also going to bring a little tray that I have that usually I use for my embossing powders. Well, this time I put a little bit of water in it and I will be playing with it a bit. So the way I will do this is I'll add some water this way. Da -da -da. And then I will move my cardboard here. I don't need this anymore. And I will be playing with it right here. Very, very simple. So for this one, I'm going to add some Melon Mambo. Feels like it needs a little bit more water, right? But let's see. I'm going to add also a little bit of the purple, the gorgeous grape. And I need to add a little bit more water to this one if I want things to start moving around a little bit better. This will dry beautifully. I want to try something different now. I will go to the watercolor paper that our company carries, which is the this one right here, made in Italy, watercolor paper. And I think it's absolutely awesome. I will try it, and this time we will try it with our sprayers. I just added some water to this, and I have my pigments. So this is another way that you can also add water to your medium, so here I am. And it seems to me that I already had some little bit of color. Yeah, I use this ones a lot. So here we go. I'm going to be adding some Mango Melody, one of my favorite colors. I don't think I mentioned this, but it would be nice if you use gloves for this, if you feel comfortable with gloves. I don't, <laughs> so I don't wear them. But yes, my hands ended up very, very inky when I finish a good session of practice. And here I'm going to just mix it with a little bit of the Daffodil Delight. Look how gorgeous this looks already. Absolutely gorgeous. Every single one of these will look a little bit different. I want to add a little bit more water, so I will. And then I will come again with my towel. And we will go on top of it. It will absorb the majority of that water and it will let it dry fast. Wow, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Love the look. Don't you love it? Okay, so I decided to do something absolutely different. First time I'm gonna do it, but this is glossy paper. And the glossy paper comes from photo paper. This is just regular HP photo paper that I had on my printer. And I cut it at three and three fourth by five. And I'm going to try it with a little bit of water and a little bit of my pigment sprinkles. Let's see how this goes.
<laughs> I love this idea. I just rejoice because I'm sure you have photo paper at home. And if you get the pigment sprinkles, you can use them with a lot of different, um, in a lot of different ways. Okay, this time I decided to bring just our thick cardstock from Stamping Up, the Whisper White cardstock, and I will add some water. Forgive my very messy towel, but I've been having lots of fun with this technique, and I think you're going to love when I show you all the different samples that I created. And we will finish one of these cards in a little bit. You could definitely bring some glitter, any glitter that you have, and just add it to your to your project as you wish. Now the glitter most likely will go places at some point, but another cool idea. Sometimes you wanna add a different color. Well, bring that aqua painter and that you were using with the other colors and you can certainly just add a teeny bit of the other color there, okay? Which is what I'm doing right now. I'm just adding it to the top, may add a little bit down here. put this down here again. I am absolutely loving showing you this today. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that looks so awesome. Look how beautiful. Now the towel actually gave it those, um, that, that section there, that texture, it came actually from the towel. So this is like your magic trick right there. If you have a rag or something that you use usually to clean, clean it first and then come and start stamping and doing fun things. But this is a beautiful, beautiful one. Let's do our last one for the day. So anybody has some resist paper left over at home. You may have it from previous um, celebration seasons. Remember when we receive a bunch of this nice car stock that has that resist effect. Can you see little stars in there? Well, let's see how this comes about. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wet it. I'll wet it real good. I'll just put some water in there. I drop it. I pick it up and I put it on top. Woo! That's a lot of water. Let's see if this actually um, works out or not on this cardboard or cardstock. I'm just putting blue all over and I may bring my sprayer I'm really liking the spray. Oh my dear, look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yes, I am having fun. I think you know that already, but look how cool that looks. Okay, let's put my towel. Remove this to the side. This is my favorite towel right here. <laughs> ah, that is amazing. <laughs> Yes, you hear me laughing because I'm having fun. Look how beautiful that looks. The color did not adhere to the stars because it's resisting, it's that technique. So, let's see what else we can My make. most favorite of the ones that we created today was this one. I love the look of it. I love how that green just went around the whole photo paper and I am amazed. So I'm going to be using it with a layer of Whisper White that is four inches by five and a quarter, and also a card base that is granny apple green, the same color from the pigment um, sprinkles, okay? I also brought my favorite bundle right now in the new catalog, and it's the Friend Like You. It coordinates with the friendly silhouette dies, and I love these silhouettes, so I decided to go ahead and add this one to my card and I cut a piece of cardstock that is about three by five inches, actually like two and a half by, by five inches. But instead of doing cardstock, I decided to go through my big shot and cut that on the glimmer sheets, the glimmer gold sheets. And we are going to be adding this at the bottom as you see. Then I brought a little banner to maybe put here at the top and I want to be Stamping, enjoy the little things and a piece of Whisper White. So let's do that. First, I'm gonna pass it through my bunch. And this is about one and a half inches wide. There you have it. And I'm gonna bring just a shaded spruce because it looks dark, darker. It looks darker than the Granny Apple Green. I really like this color. So I decided just to mix it with it. Go ahead and stand and enjoy the little things right here. Okay. 
and this is my favorite part of today's video and it's showing you the different samples that I created with the pigment sprinkles for you. This is the first one, absolutely love it. This is the one that I already showed you at the beginning and I use the second technique or the second um, piece of cardboard, the, the one not with the glossy and here I'm just using the regular card stock side of the cardboard. So I think you know what I mean. But again, I'm using the friend like you in here. For this beautiful one, I decided, I'm still using the ones from the designer shoes paper card where I did many of those. And for this card, I used the Lily Pad Lake. Absolutely love that, be calm and leave it to God. And I decided to use some of my past pink or blushing bride um, gold with the with the new Friendly Silhouettes dies again and again. Absolutely love it. Make some of the insights thinking of you with loving thoughts and prayers. And this one, life is so good with a friend like you. Now, let me show you the last ones quickly. Some of my favorites from the new catalog, like the back on your feet cling stamp set. I added some in them uh, in there. I colored them with the stamping blends and decided to use some of my pigment sprinkles. Look at another one, beautiful one right here. Ouch. And then we have another one. Can you tell I really like this one? This is not good. And he is definitely, it seems like he's going through the river and things don't look very nice. But I have several in here. I have two more to show you. This is for a good friend of mine, and I hope you enjoy. Look at this beautiful and gorgeous background. I hope this are inspiring you today. Last but not least, I decided to bring that beautiful boat from the On My Mind Paper Pumpkin Kit right here. And you may be thinking, what did you do with that background? Well, last tip for the day, I decided to uh, pass my cardboard first through the embossing machine, and I pass it with one of those seaside ones and then I added the water and then I added the, the pigment sprinkles. I let it dry and you know what? That's the last tip my lady. Sometimes you just need to let it dry and see what comes out of all of it. And don't go because I have a word for you. If you're interested in any of these products you can see links below to my store. I love and I am loving the pigment sprinkles and I would love for you to enjoy them too. So which one of all of this is your favorite and which one are you going to try first? I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave me your comments below and don't go because I have a word for you. Thank you so much for watching these techniques. I hope you enjoy them. Every time I go to a restaurant and we finish our meal, I always tell my kids, leave it better than before. So if it was a little tiny dirty, we clean the table and we leave it better than before for the next guest that is coming to that table, even if they're not paying us. I think we should always leave everything better than we found it. And today I want you to be better than before, better than before this video. So I want to leave you with this verse that blessed me this week. It says, Romans 8 verse 28 in the Bible. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. And after many more verses at the end of this in verse 37, Paul says, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. And you need to remember that God never called you to quit. He never calls you a quitter. He believes in you and believes that you are more than a conqueror. So if you need to make a note today to yourself, put it in front of your mirror, put it in the bathroom, in the kitchen, wherever you need it to lift yourself up and encourage yourself in the Lord. Because when God sees you, he sees a conqueror and even more than that. I hope this inspires you today to keep moving forward in the things that he put in your hands to do and in the calling that he set your heart on fire for. So go for it. God bless you. Thanks for being here. Leave me some comments below. And if you have not subscribed yet, go and press that button and subscribe to my channel today. Thank you. God bless you. Ciao, ciao.